What I love about the Super Note is it's super offline and you can connect it to your computer or whatever when you need to, can you connect it to Wi-Fi when you need to, but that also means that sometimes uh, it has updates available and it, you know, just kind of slips past you. I'm your cool uncle Marissa and today I'm back with the Super Note with a new feature that if you missed it, well, I'm here to tell you about it because I missed it. So I use, I use this pretty regularly, but you know, there, there's no issues. So I'm not top of mind thinking I need to update this. When is the next update? And so recently I went into updates and I was like, oh yeah, I should probably do that. And there was a surprise in wait. It was quite a big update, but now you can use the Supernote as a tablet with your computer or a laptop or whatever. And that's kind of crazy. So I just wanted to take a look at it and see how it stacks up against, for example, an entry-level Wacom tablet. Is this something that you can use for art? Or is this something that would make a good substitute to a computer mouse? Um, let's see, let's see how it goes. Jumping into Photoshop with the Wacom Intuos tablet, we have a pressure sensitive pen as expected with a drawing tablet, which means we can have varying line widths as well as line opacities based on how hard we are pressing down on the pen. It is precise. I'm always drawing where I intend to draw. And yeah, I mean, it's as comfortable as it's going to get, especially right now when I've been used to using my iPad and Procreate to draw. So this is a still a little foreign to me. And then jumping into photo editing software, don't judge my photo editing by this video. I'm just, I'm just moving stuff around. It's very precise. You are able to make very small, minor hair adjustments with it, as opposed to a mouse, it's easier on my wrists. And this is mainly what I use my Wacom tablet for these days. Now pulling out the Super Note to get to the tablet mode after updating, we go into our apps and it is called Inkflow. You have to be connected via USB to the computer to run this. And I'm gonna turn it to horizontal mode because who wants a portrait mode tablet? Jumping back into the photo editing software, the precision is the same, not really anything shockingly bad or I don't know how it could be better. <laughs> <laughs> so it works totally fine for this. It's maybe a little less fluid than the Wacom tablet, but it's not something that would be bothersome in a pinch at all, or even noticeable. But going into Photoshop again, we really do notice the lack of pressure sensitivity, which makes sense. It never claimed to be pressure sensitive, so everything is a hard line. However, here I also notice some skipping and also sometimes lines not hitting where I want them to hit. And you can see in the gaps here that that is a problem, which is really interesting because when writing on the Super Note itself, I don't experience any skipping. So I would be curious to see where this is coming from or if it can be solved in a future update. So not an ideal drawing tablet. So as we saw, uh, it you know doesn't have any pressure sensitivity. It's not it's not really super comfortable in terms of size when it comes to using it as a drawing tablet. You can use it to do sketches or something, but it is not a Wacom alternative. It's not an art tablet alternative. However, it's precise enough and smooth enough that you can use it as a mouse substitute pretty easily, which is something that I appreciate. For example, when I I am editing photos. I don't really need pressure sensitivity even when I'm masking. I just, you know, use the opacity to edit. And this comes in handy if, you know, I'm on the go and I want to do that for some reason. If you are a photographer and you're on the go and you just, you don't want to take a tablet with you, it's super helpful. But yeah, it's definitely just kind of like a little, I don't know, mini game. Like it feels like a sweet addition that it's like, well, it's possible, so why not do it? Uh, not a reason to run out and buy a Super Note if 
you are looking for a tablet, but definitely something that I could see myself using in a very niche situation. But either way, I think this is just a testament to the uh, Supernote team's ingenuity and also commitment to evolution on their devices. It's great to see that not only is there continued support, but continued innovation. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you plan on using this feature, if you knew about this feature and, uh, or if you like me had not updated and were just like, I'm, I'm happy with what I have. I forget to update things. A big thank you to my Kofi supporters. If you would like to see game reviews or other tangential things that don't really have much to do on the channel, um, things like write-ups sometimes, uh, feel free to visit my Kofi. I also have stickers and stuff for sale there. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching this video and for sticking around. I know this was a short one, longer ones, are upcoming. In the meantime, don't forget that you are always welcome at Cool Uncle's house and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.